professionals who helped make this very successful journey possible. as it did with the Russians, uh, even the Syrians who, who have uh, air assets, aircraft in that airspace that the United States forces had to fly through. There's a pretty small role really for Turkey. Interesting there though that uh, Donald Trump singled out the Syrian Kurds as he put them, mm. the uh, Syrian Democratic Forces, which were of course so much part of the battle to defeat ISIS in terms of the landscape and uh, have been also claiming credit, as have the Iraqis, for the intelligence that led to this capture but, uh, and the uh, kill. But the in interesting thing about this spread too is the location where it occurred is not in a normal area where ISIS had any historic support, but rather an area dominated by their bitter rivals, Al-Qaeda. ISIS split from Al-Qaeda. The area around Idlib is uh, infested with large numbers of Al-Qaeda fighters, and there are a huge number of refugees present too. There are in, this, in, in IDP camps all around the location where this uh, operation was conducted. It's a highly complex environment. As Donald Trump hinted there uh, in his speech, he, he, there was a concern perhaps that uh, Baghdadi was trying to use his substantial amounts of finances available to, in, to maybe rebuild, somehow reconstitute the so-called Islamic uh, 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 using the sort of groups around in other jihadis of a similar uh, ideological ill threat. Mm -hmm. Alright, Sam Kiley, thank you so much. Alright, still ahead on the one-year anniversary of the most deadly anti-Semitic attack in U.S. history, the members of the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh remember those they lost.